Well, this is Artifacts Mars, and here's a little quiz for you. Test your knowledge of Genesis and the Garden of Eden story. True and false, every question. True or false, question along number one, Genesis says that God created reptiles. You can grade yourself afterwards, by the way. First ever surgery is recorded in Genesis. That's question two. I think that went over really well. Your reference is King James Bible. You can get reference online, of course. True or false? Question three. Creation of Eve involves the... Genetic engineering of a vital cellular component. That's all I'm going to give away. Question 4. Fig leaves were the basis of the first garments. I think that went over really well. Look in the Bible. Adam and Eve had never seen technology. Once again... Uh, I think this went over really well and read Genesis very thoroughly before you answer. Question 6. Sure or false, the Garden of Eden story contains a detailed description of an artificial irrigation system. Look that one over. Question 7. Eve had never witnessed childbirth and had no idea of what it was or that it was painful. I can back every one of these up, by the way. Question 8. The Earth has never had life forms on it before. True or false? Read, 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 read. Question 9. Genesis specifically mentions the creation of reptilian-based life. Read that one over. Question 10. Adam had access to forged metal tools. What? What is Artifacts of Mars talking about? And question 11. Adam had advanced knowledge of agriculture. What is Artifacts of Mars talking about? Where would he get that? Ham and Eve had never heard of gods. Think that one over real carefully. Question 13. Adam and Eve had never seen death and had no concept of it. That one is practically a gimme. Question 14. The serpent was trying to introduce Adam and Eve to an economic system. Well, I'm going to catch hell over that one. Question 15. Except possibly for the serpent, reptilian life is not mentioned specifically in the creation story. Question 16, another civilization was on the earth at the time. I can hear the complaints now. Why am I even suggesting this? Question 17, after Cain was expelled from Eden, he feared being attacked and killed. Question 18, true or false, Cain was an architect of a city. Is that true or is it false? Question 19, Cain moved to the land of Nod and married a woman who should not have existed according to dogma. True or false?
Question 20, true or false? God in the garden is a suggestion, is suggestive of an artificial being, perhaps a robot, an angel. I'll take a deep breath, look this over, and I'll get... Okay, this is Artifacts of Mars. And the answer to question number one, true or false? Genesis says that God created reptiles. False. It doesn't say specifically. We should have uh, specified that. This is actually similar to another question on the quiz. I don't know what that was. It did something last night. Uh, it does mention the keeping things impossible. The serpent. But uh, it mentions whales, birds, and beasts of the field, but it doesn't mention specifically reptiles. That's very curious. Let's we'll see if we can bring that up. Hang on. And right here we have the information. It mentions beasts of the field, the cattle. Creeping thing, that's a little, who knows what that means. The beast of the earth has after his kind and his soul. But it doesn't really mention reptiles per se. If you stretch it a little, you might say that, but there's nothing there right, actually. So we'll move on to number two. First ever surgery is recorded in Genesis. That's true. If you believe Genesis. Well, it's the first surgery that was recorded. I shouldn't, I, uh, shouldn't say it's the first ever surgery. But according to the Bible, we bring that up. According to the Bible, God took the rib out of Adam, and the Lord God caused a deep sleep to fall upon Adam, and he slept, and he took one of his ribs, and closed up the flesh, and said thereof. That's a clear, unequivocal description of surgery. True or false, the creation of Eve involves the genetic engineering of vital cellular components. That's true. Uh, that cellular component is known as chromosomes. Because males are, uh, XY pattern, and females are XX. It's our chromosome patterns are the, uh, sole determiner of what sex we are. You have XY, you're male, you have XX, you're female. And there are some occasional problems, I understand, uh, with uh, certain genetic problems, but X, X for female, X, Y for male. Question number four, fig leaves are the basis of the first germ. That is false. Uh, if you look in Genesis, I'll bring it up. It says after they ate the forbidden fruit, they sewed fig leaves together. Well, I'm very sorry. You don't just invent sewing in an hour and then start sewing fig leaves together. So while they apparently didn't have any cloth, per se, to use, they used fig leaves. Obviously, they knew what sewing was and they'd seen it before. Why they were not given government given garments before, I have no idea. So bring that up. Uh, let's see. Yeah, here we are. The eyes of both of them were open. They knew they were naked and they sold fig leaves together and made themselves apron. Right there it is. They sold fig leaves together. They had to have had some kind of needle and thread. You're not just going to invent all that in an hour and start some fig leaves together. Sorry, it doesn't work that way. 
Am and Eve had never seen technology. Well, we just talked about uh, the sewing, and we're going to also discuss some things in the garden, like the greater light uh, rule today and what the light rule tonight. Probably not referencing the earth and the sun because the uh, sun and the moon because the sun doesn't always rule the day up at the poles and all does it and the moon is only up a small fraction of the time so probably not let's take a look at it anyway and God made two great lights the great light to rule day and less light to rule night and stars also God sent not them in the firmament for the heavens give light upon the earth and rule over day and over the night and divide light from darkness and God saw that it was good. Like I said, the moon is only full for uh, three days out of the month usually and if that my guess is we're talking about artificial lighting. I can let this one go. There's a strong argument to be made that's talking about sun and moon. I doubt it, but that's the way I see it. Your false Garden of Eden story contains a detailed description of an artificial irrigation system. That is true. And I'm going to show you how I know this. Hang on. And here we go. And the Lord God planted the garden eastward in Eden. Which means the garden of Eden, the garden is the one part of Eden. And there he put the man whom he had formed out of the ground, made the Lord God to grow every tree, so on and so forth. And a river went out of Eden to water the garden. So in other words, water was sent from Eden into the garden, and from thence it parted and became into four heads. The name of the first is Pison, which that which is compasses the whole land of Havilah, and second is Gihon, goes into Ethiopia and Hideko. And the fourth one to be familiar is Euphrates. And the Lord God took man from him in the Garden of Eden to dress in peace. So in other words, Adam wasn't even created in the Garden of Eden. But there's another uh, part of this that is actually before that reference before but there went up a mist from the earth and watered the whole face of ground. That's a pretty clear description of some sort of an irrigation system, sprinkler system. I mean, what am I supposed to think? I'm not talking about rain there. Anyway, next question. I'm going to try to keep these in order, but my computer's playing games for me tonight, so there might be a problem there. It doesn't really matter. Question 7, true or false, Eve had never witnessed childbirth and had no idea of what it was or that it was painful. That is false. And I'm going back to that. And Genesis 3.16, under the woman, he said, I will greatly multiply thy sorrow and thy conception. In sorrow thou shalt bring forth children, and they shall desire to be to thy husband, and he shall rule over thee. And thy, thy desire shall be to thy husband, and he shall rule over thee. So, they didn't get the idea that she already knows what childbirth is. Apparently, a witness that which wouldn't surprise me in the least, given what I know about Genesis. Next question. The earth had never had life forms on it before. That is false. I'm going to back that up in just a short here. We'll go back on 
will fight. Yeah. So God created man in his own image. This is chapter one. In the image of God created he him, male and female created he them. And God blessed them and said unto them be fruitful and multiply and replenish the earth. The key word there is replenish. Which means the earth has been emptied out, and apparently these humans were created to start rebuilding it and subdue it, and have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the fowl of the air, over every living thing that moves upon the earth. So apparently, earth has been emptied out. That's what the word replenish would imply. Next question. Question number nine, true or false, Genesis specifically mentions the creation of reptilian-based life. False. Possibly the serpent, but uh, other than that, no. It just did not happen during the Bible. You don't find any reference. Question number 10, true or false, Adam had access to forged metal tools. Well, this one's true. This is a simple right to point, actually. Uh, you couldn't tend to garden. You couldn't do gardening. Uh, if you didn't have some kind of forged metal tools. Uh, let me give you a little clue. Stone tools would break all the time. Right? It'd be useless in some spend more time making them than you would use them. The answer is that it's true. He had to have had some kind of forged tools, something you just can't garden without. Them. Next question. Uh, Adam had an advanced knowledge of agriculture. Obviously, that's true. He is one in the garden to tend to it. They had to have known had a pretty good idea what was in there. Question number 12, true or false, Adam and Eve had never heard of God. That is false. And I can back that up. And this is a simple case for God does know in the day you eat thereof, that your eyes shall be open, and you shall be as God, knowing good and evil. So the serpent's talking to Eve, and he obviously knows what he's talking about, or uh, she wouldn't have known what he's talking about. He would, she would have asked him, hey, what are you talking about? Person knew about God, or more than likely space travelers, but uh, not going to go there anymore. And this question, next question, section thirteen: True or false? And we've never seen death and had no concept of it. That is false. Why? Because the serpent said to uh, Eve, uh, Eve said to the serpent, you're, we're going to die if we eat uh, the fruit, and the serpent said, no, you won't. She knew what, they knew what death was. Question 14, the serpent was trying to introduce Adam and Eve to the economic system. For that, we're going to have to go to a different part of the Bible. That is true. Hang on. In here in 1 Timothy 6, 1 Timothy 6 says, Love of money is the root of all evil. Basically, uh, 1 Timothy 6, 10 is verse. The love of money is root of all evil, which while some coveted after they have erred from faith, and pierced themselves with many sorrows. So, that defines evil pretty well. Evil essentially refers to money and wealth. 
love is money and wealth. You know, look how screwed up this world is, and most of that has to do with economic system. Very interesting, uh, that we see this in the Bible. Alright, next. This teen, I mean, we must be getting keen eye on this is very and all their stuff for possibly a serpent. That Killian life is not much of specifically the creation story at true. Next. True or false mother civilization is on Earth at time. And that is true. Um, when Cain left the uh, garden, he was terrified that he was going to be killed. And that implies that there were people out there. And I will show you other information. The Bible clearly says that there was a land known as Nod. A lot of these questions are similar to each other, unfortunately. I'm trying to stretch things to 20 questions. After Cain was expelled from Eden, he feared being attacked and killed. That is true. I'll bring that up. Now, I remember when you read this, that during the preacher man, there are only four people on the face of the planet. Well, three, actually. Cain killed his brother, so it would be Adam and Eve and Cain. Yeah, look at this. Verse 14. Uh, what chapter is? Chapter 4. Genesis chapter 4. Behold, thou hast driven me out from the face of earth, and from thy face shall I be hid, I shall be. Now that's very interesting because God is supposed to see us no matter where we are. They shall be a fugitive and vagabond on the earth, and it shall come to pass. Everyone that finds me shall flee. And then God puts a mark on to warn his people not to touch him. That by itself proves that there are people on the earth already. You can't have your have it both ways. I'm sorry. Cain was an architect of a city. True. And the Bible says this one directly. I'll show you the reference. Verse 16. Cain went out from the Presence of the Lord and dwelt in the land of Nod on the east of Eden. And Cain knew his wife, and she conceived and bare Enoch, and he built a, a city and called the name of the city after his name, name of his son Enoch. So Cain had uh, built a whole city. Things there were a lot of people on the earth at that time. According to the Bible, I'm not one to say. Cain moved to the land of Nod and married a woman which did not exist according to dogma. Well, again, that's true. Where did that woman come from? It doesn't make any sense what the preacher man says. The preacher man does not read the Bible for what it actually says, and this is what Andrew says. It clearly says that uh, there were other people living on the earth at the time when Adam and Eve were created. I, I mean, it's cut and dried, folks. Question 20, true or false, God in the Garden of Eden is suggestive of an artificial being, perhaps a robot, or an android. Now they think that that is true. They think the artifacts of Mars are not. Okay, hang on. And it's chapter 3 in Genesis. And they heard the voice of the Lord God walking in the garden in the pool of the day. And Adam and his wife hid themselves from the presence of the Lord God among the trees of the garden. So, I can envision possibly an advanced android or plain old robot or something is walking in the garden and heard his voice. I don't know, that one's puppy. Alright. 
At any rate, let's end the quiz. Grade yourselves. Uh, five points each question. A lot of them questions were similar. I understand that. There's plenty more in the Bible things that we're not being taught. So I'll just keep that in mind. I advise you to read the Bible and try to understand it for yourselves. Don't give in dogma. And if you're going to follow the Bible, then follow what it actually says. Eyes of them both were open with dreams before. They probably had some kind of an illusion. They sold fig, fig leaves together. It means they knew what sowing was. Couldn't have just invented it in an hour or something. There's a lot of stuff that the Bible says that the preacher just does not. It's just dogma. That's all it is. The preacher doesn't care about truth so much as he cares about dogma. That I can't stand. I'm Artifacts Mars. Thanks for watching.